Hey guys, so we are going to go ahead and open Nisa. Nisa? Nisa? Oh, this is pretty cool. It's a little... And just like Liliana, you get a backstory. So these are a lot better to collect. And I can see like you using it as a poster or something. So if you love Liliana, then you should get up. And we saw, we see our promo, Honored High Arc. So interesting. So the promo is on color. So what is the most valuable card in this set? Nisa? I feel like it is Nisa and... Really cool. It kind of looks like Tomb Raider here. We're going to open Nisa Ravain, uh, Fugitive Animus, guided by Zendikar, bone, bon okay, bonded to the land, a long way from home, defender of the natural order, and a true purpose. So again, this is like awesome. I really enjoy the fact that you get something pretty cool and it's not like a card that you have to do stuff. This is like high quality paper too, so good for that. And then you get your green dice. Let's see what packs we have. We have uh, Gideon, Liliana, Chandra, Liliana, Jace, and Gideon. So let's go ahead. Honored High Arc. Interesting card. Don't know if it's going to see much play, so I'm guessing it'll be the same as the last pack where you get two uncommons, uh, you get one of these cards right here. I'm positive you can get, I don't see why they would have this card unless you were, unless you could get Planeswalker and that would be incredible. Planeswalker and foil double-sided, are you kidding me? Honored High Arc, one green, renowned one. As long as Honored High Arc is renowned, it has vigilance and add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Not the worst card, we have some type of invocation. Each creature you control gets... Yeah, this card is pretty good. Yeah, this card's insane. It's like a trample. It's like an overrun effect. Conclave Naturalist. When Conclave Naturalist enters the battlefield, you may destroy target artifact enchantment. Not bad. Empath. Timber. Pack Wolf. Might of Masses. Pretty cool card. And Rocks Maulers. We're not allowed. This card's not bad. This card in standard, I can see being very good. I mean, 4-4 four, four, Trample, it gets the Renown and then becomes a 6-6 six, six, Trample. So our two rares were Languish, which might be standard player played playable. A lot of people are telling me this card is actually very good, will be very good in standard. And if Goblins are an item, then this card will be very good. And then this card. On in High Arc. Obviously, I would have loved if uh, Noble High Arc was in this set, but I mean, you can't ask for. Renowned One is a very interesting mechanic. It makes him a 2 2 beater, which can. I like him in Limited a tremendous amount. Just a lot of flexibility in this card as a one drop. It's okay. I'm afraid that once you drop him later and you cannot attack with him, I mean, you, you want to produce some type of mana when you play him or the next turn and this guy has kind of a hurdle to do that. I'm big fan of these cards though, very big fan of these cards and I feel like you can probably, I guess we'll open some packs right now, but you can probably only get them in these pre-release kits. And I like the fact that it's not like a double-sided checklist. Bye guys!